Hi everyone. Let's solve this right away. We have x to be equal to square root of 27 over x. And the question says we should bring out three solutions from here. Now the first thing the first thing we are going to do is to is to remove this from here, right? And to do that, we'll have to square both sides. So we're going to square this. Then on this side, we have the square root of 27 divided by x. Now, the whole of this will now be squared. Now, this x squared will come down, right? Then on this side, we are going to have this to cancel this so that we now have 27 over x and if we cross multiply we're going to have x times x squared that will be x cubed to be equal to 27 and if we must express this you know if we must get the three solutions from here then we'll take this step x to the power of 3 minus 27 equals 0 and we know that 27 is 3 to the power of 3 this is equal to 0 right now we can apply difference of two cubes and if you have a cube minus b cube this is normally a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared this is what this is so that we can now write this in this form our a minus b becomes x minus 3 then here now we're going to have a squared which is going to be x squared then plus a b is going to be x times 3 because our a is this x and this 3 now is the b so x times 3 is 3x then we have plus b squared is 3 squared and 3 squared is 9 now the whole of this will be equal to 0 so that's from here we are multiplying these two to get 0 so we can say that it is either x minus 3 equals 0 or x squared plus 3x plus 9 equals 0 and again you should know when to apply this right from here our x is going to be 0 plus 3 if we collect terms okay so our x from here is equal to 3 this is one of the solutions and we need two more solutions we will now go over to this quadratic equation which is x squared plus 3x plus 9 equals 0 from here we are going to use the quadratic formula and um, for the formula we have our abc so let's identify our abc a is the coefficient of x squared, which is equal to 1. B is the coefficient of x, which is 3. And then C is equal to 9. Right? The constant is C. Now, what is the formula? The formula is x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a now the next thing is to substitute into the formula so that our x our x will now be in place of this minus b i'll write minus 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared that will now be 3 squared minus 4 times a times c and our c is 9 
So the whole of this will be divided by 2 times 1. Okay, so from here now, our x is going to be minus 3, plus or minus. We have 3 squared, that is 9, minus 4 times 1 times 9 will give us 36. Then we divide this by 2. Now, our x from here is equal to minus 3, plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 36 will give us minus 27. Then this is divided by 2. Now, let's pick out this negative so that our x becomes minus 3 plus or minus square root of 27 multiplied by square root of negative 1 divided by 2. Now, we can break this 27 so that x becomes minus 3 plus or minus square root of 27 is 9 times 3. Then times square root of negative 1 is i. Then we still divide by 2. To go ahead, we are going to have our x to be equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 is 3. Then we have root 3 in there because 3 is not a perfect square. We multiply by i and divide by 2. We can still rewrite this so that x will be equal to minus 3 plus or minus. We have 3 times i. That will be 3i. Then we have root 3 as we divide this by 2. And this is a 2-in-1 solution because of this plus or minus, okay? And for us to continue from here, okay, let's just get the three solutions together. We got our x1, the first value of x, to be equal to 3. Now the second value, x2, is equal to minus 3. Plus or minus, we have 3. Okay, we are going to use plus now, only positive. So we have 3i square root of 3 divided by 2. This is positive. Now the other one, the third one, x3, is going to be minus 3. But this place is now negative 3i root 3 divided by 2. So these right here are the three solutions to the equation.